What is up, guys? Pulder here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem. Last time we took on another one of our Gaiden Chapters 6X. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. We're moving forward to Chapter 7, Scarlet Swordsman, and I'm both really excited and really worried about this chapter because I get one of my absolute favorite units of all time here. But this map is probably going to be terrifying on Maniac difficulty, so... We'll see. She gets art too. My girl Fina. Oh my God. Having liberated Grust, Marth and his companions accepted Wendell's request and stopped by the Fane of Ramon in search of the missing orbs. However, the ancient temple built to worship Naga had been wrecked by constant warring and was now nothing more than a den of thieves. They're escaping the. Uh, they're escaping with the temple's valuable treasures. You must catch them. Stay clear of the free company guarding. Kyasmir? Bridge? We cannot defeat them. It seems a dancer is lost inside the forest. We must find her before the bandits do. As the soldiers received their orders, the flames of a new battle around the Fane of Ramon were ignited. By the way, Jezebel, I have something uh, I have something I'd like to ask you. Yes, Sir Jagan. From your perspective, what kind of person am I? Old. I don't... <laughs> I keep wondering about how I should have acted toward Lane. Our homeland Altair's position is important, but perhaps I brood far too much and offend people. You worry about these things too, Sir Jacob. You needn't worry. Your concern for Prince Marth is more than evident. You're very strict, Sir Jacob, but also very kind. Is that so? If you cheer me on enough, I may even age backwards. Sir Jacob, when you look at me, what kind of person do you see? Well, you're very capable as a royal guard, and you have an aura that attracts people. That's the kind of person you are. What an honor. Well, we'd best begin the war council. Let us go, Jezebel. Okay. So, how much talking? Oh, okay, we don't have, like, an, an essay to read through. Cecil and Jezebel, too. Say, Jezebel. What's the matter? Uh, did you hear that rumor? I don't believe it, but I'm just curious. What rumor? You know, that rumor that there there's a ghost haunting this army? Okay, so her first support was about a ghost. Okay. Oh, that nonsense. Mm, nonsense? They, they say the ghost of a long-haired girl. Yeah, that was just some dry wood. Someone was just seeing things. It was just a joke at this point. Uh, I see, yes. Uh, of course, there's no way it could have been a ghost. Cecil, don't... Tell me you were afraid of ghosts? No way. Nothing, something like that couldn't possibly exist. I'm not a child anymore. And ghosts are silly, which just be on the safe side. Hmm? Oh, oh. What, is something wrong? Didn't you hear that strange sound, Cecil? Huh? <laughs> Cecil? Where, where did it come from? Where is it? No, no. Wait, calm down, Cecil. I can't move with you clinging on to me like this. Oh, but is the ghost be gone, final spirit? Cecil, listen to me. My neck, stop squeezing my... I can't breathe. Someone save me. That's my line. <laughs> okay, current status, chapter 7. By our hands, Grust has been liberated, and we are en route to our homeland. But first, we stop by the Fane of Ramon. I believe you've already heard, but this was a request by Lord Wendell, who was held captive by the Arcanian army. He said that even uh, if even one of the five orbs were to be lost to the world, uh, would to be lost, the world would fall into ruin. And now the Star Sphere has shattered into twelve pieces. Prince Moth is going to help gather them. I just wish the Fane of Ramon has what we desire. Speaking of, is there any we Scorpio? And it is missable. Is it the only one? Mm -hmm. Yep, Scorpio. Alright, and Free Company. Just about, about the Free Company defending Chiasmir Bridge Northwest. Yes, sire. I'd like you to leave them alone. Their leader is Astrum, hero of Arcania. He wields the sword Mercurius, one of the three regalia, and is one of the strongest men in the continent. I see. He sounds like a truly powerful opponent. 
That isn't the only reason why I don't wish to fight him. In the previous war, Astrum was our ally. He's a very serious and loyal person, his devotion to Princess Nina unmatched. After my lack of courtesy, but when I need to be clear on a certain point. While I've decided to lend you my sword, my allegiance lies with Prince Nina, not you, my lord. I will follow your orders, but should I learn you have been false to her, or that you're manipulating her? Heads will roll. I'm gonna ask her. I do not think we can persuade him, at least not now. I'd rather not fight him unless necessary. Just well, I'd like you to avoid battle with him as possible, if, uh, as well if possible. Yes, understood. However, your life be in danger, sire. I will fight, no matter how powerful that opponent might be. Okay. So, I'm assuming that, you know, we still got that, you know, whole dialogue. So, assuming that holds true in uh, maniac mode as well. Oh, look at you, 11 sword. Hello, 22 speed, Jesus. Okay, there's a silver bow just chilling there. Master seal, angelic robe, Wodao, master seal, Scorpio, which is just, oh, plus two speed. That would help uh, quite a few people. Iron sword, Boolean. Uh, and then there's this. Uh, I don't know if we if we stand on this if we get anything. Uh, I do know, however, if we get too close to this, a fire dragon spawns, uh, just like the original game. So that's a thing. Um, also, this guy is not. This is a lunatic only person, as is this. So. That's gonna make things more difficult. Uh, let's go through how's everyone, see if we get any goodies. A res potion. Anyone we're actually using, please? A quick bow. Okay, well that, I'll, I'll gladly take that. Uh, okay. So we can bring 10 people Bring Frey. Oh, this one's gonna be kind of rough. I'm, I'm tempted. I, I might, I might use a rescue here. I think everyone's good though. Seven use on mend is kind of meh. But uh, do we really have any cash? Uh, we have a large bullion to sell, so there's that. Uh, also, res potion and magic potion. Mm -hmm. Don't really need them here. But no. Let's see where you mean. Uh. Then I'm gonna buy another heal. Uh, one more fire just to be safe as well. I think that should be good though. That should be good. All right. So this is pretty much going to be a rundown. Well, that's the plan anyway. Well, let's, hold on, let's look at Drill Grounds, see what we have to fight, and see if anyone is like right about to level that would benefit. Uh, maybe Cecil? good. Never, never looks like an attractive option. So whatever. Let's just get it going. Please help me. The thieves are going to... No, I can't be here one of them as well. Oh, fine. Do your worst. If you're gonna kill me, do it fast. Girl, get behind me. 
The Altain army is marching toward the south of this forest. I'll take you to them. Uh, you're gonna help me? You mean, you're not with the thieves? Until just now, I was... But I've changed my mind. Why? There's someone in the Altain army that I want to see, that's all. Hmm, but really it's because I'm cute, right? At any rate, I'm glad. My name is Fina. I'm a dancer from Morin. People say that once they see my dancing, they'll feel instantly refreshed. I can show you if you like. Or I should tell you my story. I got separated from my troop, and wandered into this forest, and then those horrible thieves came and tried to take me by force, but it's okay now. You seem kind of scary, but actually you're very kind. However, your appearance is... Your face isn't bad, but your dress sense is kind of lacking, and... Uh, what's with your hair? You know, nowadays... Just stop talking. Anyway, don't stray too far. We'll cut our way to the west corner, and then escape through there. If you want to live, then shut up and come with me. Uh, it, yes, sorry. The first dancer in Fire Emblem. She's my favorite. My favorite dancer. I love her so much. Um... Okay. Which one has... I need to highlight... Scorpio. So, I'm assuming the thieves are gonna run away. That is... my assumption. So... If they don't, we're probably kinda screwed. Probably gonna be like an immediate reset. Thanks, Navar, for not critting. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, I probably should go over them, huh? There are two new units, Navar and Fina. I'm hoping Fina is a good unit like she is in Mystery. Uh, no borrow, as it's written. So, Navar. 9 base strength, 16 base speed. Base-wise, not bad, actually. Um, again, I mean, a little low on strength, but not too terrible. 16 base speed, hell yeah. 8 base defense, not terrible for a merm. Growth-wise, he has 45 strength. Better than I would have expected. Uh, 50 skills, 70 speed, 70 luck, 20 defense, 5 res. Um, I'm, like, cursed with Navar. I've tried to use him multiple times, and it just doesn't happen. Uh, so, probably won't use him. But he doesn't look bad, it's just... Eh. But, on the other hand, Fina, a dancer, not only, I mean, a dancer in general is fantastic to have. Uh, but, let's see, 60 HP, eh. 60 strength, I like it. 80 skill, 90 speed, 80 luck, 15 defense, which, eh, and 5 res. Uh, so, okay, she's pretty much, she's just better Navar. That, like, she, she's a Myrmidon that, I mean, I guess she can't promote into a Swordmaster, so that's the downside. Um, but she's, she's essentially just a Myrmidon who can also dance, and since she's... Uh, a woman, she can wield the lady sword, and oh, oh, I love her, I love her so much. All right, doesn't matter that she has two base strength whatsoever. Uh, all right, we're gonna kill you. Uh, oh, there's uh, an armory down here. Also, reinforcements. I know there are reinforcements on this map, other than the dragon. Where do they come from, and what turns? Uh, starting on turn three, Cavaliers, Knights, so three, five, and seven. Five and seven, and Lunatic, he appears in turn three, too. Fuck, okay. So, we're gonna have shitloads, then. Turn three, five, and seven, we get two Cavaliers and two Knights. Um, turn five and seven, one mage for the other non-marked four this. So two Cavalier, two Knights. Oh my fucking god, this is gonna be stupid. Because it's three turns of that. And three mages. This is why I was like, I love this chapter, but on 
maniac mode, this could be just fucking awful. And, uh... Definitely looking pretty awful. I mean, he didn't have any weapon to drop, but... Come on now. He didn't even hit. I think it was a 70-some. So pretty much how we're going to be doing this. I do kind of want to fight the dragon, not going to lie. Um, I wonder if you've seen that young lady's dance. Marvelous, isn't it? Makes a tired body feel healthy again in the blink of an eye. But the... They are going to attack her? Okay, we have no choice but to rescue her. No choice. If they're going to just attack her, we don't have a choice. That's obnoxious. Unless it's only the ones... No, this guy ran down. Maybe it's only the ones with things in their inventory that run away? Um... Like, getting these, it's just not gonna happen. Like... I have to stay out of this dude's range. It's just not gonna happen. Um... I could potentially try and go after with no bar. Instead of attacking the bow, I, I don't know. I think the bow is my best bet. But either way, I gotta reset and just do it all again and rescue her this time. All right, so Navar, uh, oh my God. Navar is actually kind of being insane right now. Uh, he got two crits back to back. <laughs> he crit the sniper, uh, crit the thief after I danced for him. Speed, luck, HP, okay. So we have Scorpio in our inventory right now. Uh, now we're dead. I'm not resetting for him. I'm just saying that right now. I'm not resetting for him. Uh, we got Scorpio. So that's all that really matters. And I can try and double check that. It should... I don't know if it's after this map. Ooh, that's gonna be... Dice shit. Scorpio's in his inventory was. Now, it should, like everything else, it should just go to the convoy. Okay, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna, we're gonna continue. And then after this, we're gonna immediately check our convoy. If it's not there, then I will redo the entire map on my own. And so any levels will of course change, but I will do it until we get it without someone dying, but. Ugh. All right. Anyways, where's our girl? She can reach all the way over there. Oh, so you mean I leveled off of her rescue? Got, I think, HP, magic, and speed. It was really good. Really good level. Okay. Uh... Yeah, these two are, like, they're, they're gone. There's no way I'm gonna be able to grab those. Let's visit some of these other houses. The ones protecting the bridge are Astrum's free company, powerful men who stop at nothing. Uh, as a wise man once said, let sleeping dogs lie, eh? Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. Marth can reach this house. Uh, the ancient fane of Vermont is just a treasure trove of thieves. You can see them carrying the stolen treasure all over the place. I hope they get cursed or something. <laughs> I like him. All right, Malisha. Dance for her. Okay, Malisha can't quite reach any thieves. There. All right. There's some damage. 
Uh, this one has the Boolean, so I'm gonna go after him with Paula. Steel Lance one-shots him. There we go. And then Sirius. We do... Uh, I'll go with the Steel. I don't... I really didn't want to use the Silver. It has the best accuracy, but it's the Silver Lance. Kind of overkill. HP and Strength. Okay, sweet. Captain Astro, we've started the Altaian army to the south. Shall we attack? The mission is to hold the bridge. Leaving the bridge will not be permitted. Only attack if the enemy approaches. Yes, sir, but what about the troops in the fort? I hear they'll march out soon. They were brought with co uh, they were bought with coin uh, by the Emperor. Let them do as they please. Either way, they won't win. We will be the ones to stop the Altaian army. Just further saying, hey, just don't get close, and you're safe. Uh, oh, the Master's... Oh, you. Of course, of course. Now, I could snack, and I might do this. I don't know. It's the trade-off between a Rescue or a Master Seal. Now, the... It says there's two Master Seals somewhere on this map? Did I already let one get away? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, one... Probably should get at least one. So, Paula... Steel Lance... <sighs> it was an 87. I am tempted to reset. Not gonna lie, I am tempted to reset. Because using a rescue while securing the Master Seal? Sure. Using a rescue without a Master Seal? I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, we have a, we have a, we have a skill book, right? Yeah, I'm gonna reset that. I mean, I guess what we could... No, because he's gonna continue moving. I was like, we could try and risk this dude, but he's gonna continue running. I mean... This guy is probably gonna... You know what? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh... Julian there. Dance for Julian. Oh, Julian just can't reach, okay. Let's have Sirius. Oh my god, are we Sir? That, I, I hate that his name just unfortunately results in puns whenever I don't want them to. But... What is happening, man? I know they're thieves. I know they're sitting in a tree. It shouldn't matter. More speed for Cecil. All right, all right. Well, let's see if Catria lives. Or not Catria, Paula. Nope. So he can hit his 86. But our 87? Okay, so we missed an 87 with Paula. Uh, I had serious run after this guy. We just gotta hit one more. Couldn't hit an 87, but a 76? We hit those. Clean. Easy. 
Uh, this guy, yeah, we, we definitely have to just rescue him now, but, I mean, either way, what's done is done. Uh, okay, come back in here. We could even dance for you. No, no, no. Heal Cecil, she got, she barely, she only one HP. She barely lived. She gets doubled by this guy. Uh... What's your experience? 73? There we go. There we go. Magic? Magic. I know you have a magic growth, but you're not- you're not- Girl. 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 I am trying really hard to use her. And she does not want to work with me. Does not want to work with me. Uh, I'm, I am gonna dance her serious, actually, just to help over here. Uh, can we hit another 76? Yeah, we can. All right, Catria. Steel Lance. There we go. A level? Oh, now that, that makes up for what Cecil just did. That's a good ass level. Uh, can Ogma do 18? That's a devil sword. That's a devil sword. No, thank you. Okay, reinforcements have begun. There goes Master Seal. I think that was Master Seal. Because I think the one at uh, at the gate right now is the Angelic Robe. Yeah, this guy running around with the Wo Dao, whatever. I don't really care that much. Uh, it's now time to deal with Re Rider's Bane and a Killer Lance running in every turn. Are you serious? What do you have? L fires? Of course you do. Of course you do. Uh. It's gonna get gross. How much speed do you have? 11. Um, I probably need to at least try and deal with the mage before the mage fully reaches me, since they're gonna be spawning every single turn. Okay, we dodge. Please just hit. Paula! Okay, you got a crit. That makes up for it, but like, what is Paula's pro- Oh! Oh, I- Uh, we have a skill book sitting in the convoy, I believe. I might have to give it to her. Because it's getting stupid. Uh, also, what turn is it? Bye. There was no reinforcement. Last turn was four, and that was the first reinforcement. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, if the regular reinforcement's supposed to start on three, start on four, so even numbers then. No, or, well, no. You know, supposed to start on three, we got it on four. The next one's supposed to start on five, so we should get it on six. So it's one ahead for some reason. Uh, how do I want to deal? How far do you go? Not very. Still have that healthy rapier. Well, kind of healthy rapier. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Though with reinforcements, like, I'm... I'm kind of iffy on whether or not I actually want... Steel Lance. Both can attack him. They have 11 and 12 speed. Okay. No one's doubling there. No one's doubling here. And I kind of want to keep Paula... Make sure she's healthy. Because I think I'm going to do the mage thing every time. Or at least try to do the mage thing every time with her. Bring you a bit forward. Get Jezebel closer. So yeah. Oh wait, enemy turn five. No, okay. Okay, never mind. All is good. I got real confused on the on the turn on the what turn was what number there. So no, the the numbers are right. Bow bodied. Paula Javelin. L fire. Let's go, Malisha. Uh, these guys have nine speed. Oh, she can't. She needs one speed. If we had Scorpio still in possession and not in the void, potentially going to our convoy, she could double. Uh, which one is Rider's Bane? Okay. Uh, that really only affects Cecil. So let's swap Sirius. Let's pull him back here. Uh, I'm gonna heal him up. Put Ogma here. Armor Slayer. Oh, only has three left. Do I have another Armor Slayer by chance? I don't want to store something to check. I mean... Blunt sword. Huh. Okay. Well. Things are about to get real dicey. I wish I could see movement after they had moved. Because I'm doing this. I was on a great level. I was doing this to heal Marth. I mean, I just moved back one. Hell yeah. I don't know what happened, but hell yeah. It's dead. That's all that I care about. Okay, we have a steel sword coming in from top. Steel sword coming in from the side. Both meet right where Agma is. How far can you... Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Dance. Uh, I need to make sure. Is there another mage on the. No. I'm gonna say six is its movement. So I should be safe. To run up against this guy. Especially, there's 20 damage. Can I one-shot you with a rapier? No. Oh. If I pass Gemini, I believe I can. 
because it should add, since it's effective, won't it add two? Or are you thinking of a, of, of a different Fire Emblem system? No, it just adds one. Fuck. Well, so much for that. Um, heal Agma. Can I deal 19? Not even with the Silver Lance. Can I deal 19? Um, we're gonna have reinforcements coming in. This is the last of the reinforcements, though. So I think I'm gonna go here. Militia hitting that. Doing doing nice, doing nice. Catria. Girl Y. Okay. Paula. Just hit one. We're good there. Level strength skill and speed. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll do it this way. I didn't really want to do it this way. But Jezebel, kill there. Sirius. Silver Lance for a nasty hit in their face. All right. Last of the reinforcements. The armors are definitely problematic. But I think we'll be fine. Uh, Paula here. Killer Lance. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead. I don't, I don't. I feel like I can't play games too much. I just need to make sure. Speed and defense. It's still not strength. So that's magic. So Malisha can stay in if she really wants. However, attacking Paula, he should die. So if I Seven times three is 21, we will live. Okay, that's all I care about. So let's move. Catria back one, Marth down one, Alicia over here. Dance just to dance, get some experience, uh, get Ogma off to the side. We have one use of that armor slayer. Also, I moved Yumina with that. I could have used heal, but my bad. Uh, okay. Okay, he misses. Fantastic. We double in return. 20 damage. Of course, it's like, this is where Paula's gonna be hit, right? And then she's, yep, 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 and she's not gonna kill in return. Fuck you too, Paula. Okay, now we're, this is... I don't like this. Okay. 
You're dead. Cecil killing the mage. A writer's Bane. Steel Sword. Okay, Jezebel. Just clear the full health one out immediately. Coming in with a steel sword. So I think I'm going. Let's see. Malisha. Malisha doubling. That one has lower speed. Good. A level. Give me speed. Yes. And magic. Okay. And then we're gonna go again. Silver Lance. I'm gonna back up with Ogma. And all should be good to go. Should be. I heal Marth. It levels Yumina. Magic and Res. Not bad. Uh, do that because I can. I was thinking about mending Pala, but eh. Okay, you have the Rider's Bane. That's terrifying. Okay, let's see here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If we give the Gemini back. Uh huh. Uh, how, ooh, wait. All right, you know, die. <laughs> Not playing game, oh, I broke that, okay. Did not realize. Okay, Rider's Bane. Come down here. That's not Yumina. Because we're using a mend. However, I would rather that happen. Okay. We get axe weapon rank that way. What are we at? Uh, e still? Okay. Uh, there we go. Finish him off. All right. Uh, so I think I mentioned if I didn't mention it, I thought it in my head and didn't say it out loud for whatever reason. Um, I kind of want to fuck with the dragon. Now, the only way I'm going to do that is after this is clear and Marth is going to sit up here. <laughs> because if it gets bad, I'm just gonna leave. I don't know how much movement the dragon has. So like the dragon, I can spawn it all the way from standing here. Uh, I don't know if the dragon spawns on here or one in front of it, but Manakee, for it to hit me here, it would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine movement. I think that's unrealistic. Pretty sure they don't have nine movement. So we should be good. It's not a flying wyvern. If it was a flying wyvern or a flying dragon or whatever, it's a fire dragon. If it was a flying one, it would be a different story. Uh, but we, I mean, we still have to take care of bows. Do both of them have silver bows? Okay, one has a steel bow, one has a silver. What is my best bet against them? Probably to bait in with Jezebel. Um, you have 12, you have sem 17 attack. It's actually really tempting to bait in with Malisha.
because she could. She very well could. There's a level for Fina. There's some strength. There we go. That's a good ass level. Hell yeah. He's just a fire. Because, sure, we'll take 17, take 11 damage. Good, eh? Why the hell not? Come here. We dodge it. Shit. So close, so close. The Lady Sword. It's yeah, okay. I was about to say, what uh What rank is that? It is E. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish the job. Why not? Now she didn't take a hit. This guy would do what is it? He does eleven, so we have six. 14, 15? I mean, what's your speed, 12? We can do that. Very much could do that. And I think I might. I don't know. Anytime I'm able to get get kind of saucy with Malisha, like, she needs it. She needs that weapon rank. I like this. I like this. He has 18 in return? Like, look at that. Alright. So, Fina can reach. She does six just normally. Cecil with a steel sword kills. What about iron? Does iron kill? Yeah. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't. Uh, I'm going to use the iron sword. Just got to get some weapon rank started at the very least. And Cecil, iron lance. Okay. So now we just gotta take down Doll, which is pretty terrifying, not gonna lie. 22 speed, the only person who can really rival that is Jezebel. Granted, it is 11 sword, so having someone with res would also do the trick. But we're kinda at that point where it's like, okay, it's just turn count city now. He's definitely gonna double Malisha. He doesn't double just at all. Dance. Uh, Cecil. And start hitting Marth over there. We don't have like a Worm Slayer or anything. And make sure. Okay. Like I said, I wanna spawn it at the very least. I want to look it in the face. Because if I kill it, I get a free fire orb. Uh, oh yeah, there's an armor here. I never checked what was in it. Steel sword, steel lance, javelin, steel axe, hand axe, steel bow. Uh, also, I did mention, or I did, I was wondering, do I get anything for standing on this? I do see hidden treasure. There's a physics stage. So if I don't get the dragon kill, I can at least get a physics day before I live. Uh, <laughs> before I dip. I was gonna try to say leave, and then I tried to say dip at the same time. It did not work clearly. All right, let's see here. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's fucking go, girl. Let's. Fucking go. Nothing I want to buy, but I do want to check out what this house has to say, so why not? And Cecil, 
Start walking back. Okay. I'm one tile outside of spawning again. Let's go, Malicia. Trying to take a cut of the thieves plundering? You people ain't even human. Ah, oh, that's cute. Oh, come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. What is with the dodge? Like, a 70. I should not be missing these, like, high 70s, even high 80s this often. Like, sure, they're not 100%. So clearly there's a chance for me to Does this you know what? Now that I think about it, does this game have true hit? Is this one of the true hit games? Because that just makes it even worse that I'm missing these. I have to I have to know. Uh Fire Emblem True Hit. Is that is this a true hit game? Or did it stop before this? Phenomenon that occurs in six through twelve. So the 87s that I've been missing were actually 96.75. Incredible. Feels so good to be missing those. Oh, you must never go near that cave. I hear a terrible, uh, I hear a rumor that in that cave dwells a terrible fire dragon. Oh yes, I'm going to play with it. And say hi. Landed one. And we're gonna go at him. We just need to land it again. Thank you, Malicia. Murder is the lot of you. <sighs> so close. Eleven sword. That magic level all of a sudden not sounded too bad. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, as I said, I'm going to spawn that dragon. So I'm gonna walk, get in position, and I will see you over there. Okay, so we're over here. Uh, again, I don't expect it to be able to reach all the way down here, so actually, because of that, I'm going to bait in with Yumina. Because why the hell not? We are within its range. We're in the uh, exact bottom right corner. Look back in the window. There it is. Sir, please exercise caution. Reports indicate that a fire dragon has emerged from the cave in the west. Alright, let's have a look-see at your stats. Fire Breath, does it have range? No. Meaning, Militia is a god here. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, this this should be no problem. Uh, Fina's level 5, with dancing all the way through the forest. Getting great levels. Fantastic levels. Curiosity, let's just look. Okay, Julian does eight. He doesn't get one shot. Okay. So, Malicia. If I put Malicia here. I'm gonna go for the L fire. The Shaver crit is nice, but I'm getting. I, I'm going for the greed. The experience greed. Uh, more speed, res, okay, okay. So there's 22 HP left to whittle down. Uh, I could dance for her again. Cecil probably gets one shot. Very much so. So I, I'm gonna dance for Malicia. I get behind. Uh, we'll go for the L fire again, bringing it down to six. And how much did Julian do? Eight. 
Let me look at everyone else's experience. Okay. So, what is Cecil's accuracy? 96. Which, again, in true hit, because I still have the table up, is a 99.72. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Like, that should be no problem. And it was. There we go. Still not getting strength. Still not getting strength. But, got a Firestone. And then, oh. Wait one more turn. I'm down here. Some dancing. Free physics stave. Uh, put the master seal in there. Actually, would like to have that like immediately. As you guys already know, I'm really, really good at forgetting things. I mean, I might be doing all this and have to immediately redo this on my own time. But only one way to find out, right? So let's seize. Uh... Now let's seize. <sighs> Sorry, we've driven away the thieves, but the temple was completely ransacked. Anything that wasn't nailed down is gone. I'm sure even Guardian Deity Naga would be furious. It is truly the end of civilization. Jagan, do you know the legend of Naga? Yes, only vaguely, however. Jespel, do you know of it? No, not really. Unknown among the youth, I see. Then sir, allow me the honor. It said that a thousand years ago, when there was not one king in the lands, people lived in small villages. One day, terrible monsters descended and the humans were massacred, pushed to the brink of extinction. The few who survived prayed to the gods for salvation. The gods heard their prayers and a gigantic warrior was sent down to earth. The warrior uh, carried a gleaming blade of light in his right hand, and in his left hand a shield embedded with five orbs. Then, after a fierce battle, he eradicated the monsters and returned to the heavens. He was our guardian deity, Naga, and the temple is dedicated to him. He was the avatar of the gods, our guardian deity. With the uh, with the blade of light and the five orbs, it is the legend of Naga. Well then, sire, we have to cross Kaiasmia Bridge soon. We must hurry. If the enemy takes it, getting across would be nigh impossible. All right then, inform the whole army. We have uh, we cross Kaiasmia Bridge at once. We have a moment to waste. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh. Lord Wendell, we're off the Kazmaier Bridge. I, uh... Oh dear, are you all right? Have you got a cold? Perhaps it's too early to tell. Don't push yourself too hard. Remember to keep yourself warm. Oh, I know. Oh, shall I lend you one of the hats that I'm wearing? It... Is that okay? Yes, I have many of these hats, so there's no need to worry. Well then, would you like to try it on? I'm... I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, Wendell, but I'm good, because it'll get rid of our ponytail. No, thank you, but I appreciate the gesture. I'll be just fine. I understand, but do remember to watch your health. Okay. So before I fully wrap this up, we're saving here, skipping everything, inventory, the gem we're looking for is Scorpio. And there it is. Don't have to redo it. Navar, he was put to good work. Going, going to meet Samto, <laughs> the hot one. <sighs> and again, nothing was lost. Unless I needed to recruit someone with Navar, which, uh, nope. 
don't need him for anything. Let me just type Navarre just in case they, they were inconsistent and type Navarro on one side, Navarre on the other. Nope. Don't need him whatsoever. All is good. Like I said, he's cursed for me anyway. He wouldn't have worked out. Uh, but he, he put in work for the time he was here. He gave me some crits, helped get the Scorpio with relative ease. All is good. But that's going to be it for me. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Bye.